Hey people, this is Kygor7, and today we're going to be talking about the basic fundamentals of HTML. And HTML is just one of the most basic coding languages you can learn. Like, it's so simple. I mean, anyone can learn it, anyone can code a website with it, and I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of what it's all about, you know, all the basic tags and coding bits and pieces of it. Uh, you know, all the basic coding parts of it. So anyways, let's start off the video by saying... Oh man, I can't talk today. So let's start off the video by covering what HTML is for. Uh, it's primarily used for web scripting, building websites, stuff like that. And the very first tag that you're going to need to learn as a HTML programmer is doc type. The first thing you're going to need to learn is to save the file. Now, for our example, I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm just going to save this as example.html and you can name your HTML file whatever you want but for we'll just go for, with that for now so anyway the first thing that you're going to need to learn is the doc type HTML tag now think of this tag as like a decor Declaration. Yeah, think of this tag as like a declaration of this is the programming language we're doing for this particular document. This is what we're doing. And from there, what you're going to need to do is the second most important tag in the entire language, which is simply lowercase HTML. And Something important that you gotta know about this programming language is you gotta think of tags like sandwiches, like, well, I'm pretty bad at analogies, but what I'm trying to get at is that once you start one tag in order to try and start off something, to start off a line of code, you're gonna have to end that tag with some with the exact same tag, just with a slash in the front of whatever word you put there. So, we got that down. And some important parts, other basic parts of the HTML. Some other important HTML tags include things just like head. And the head tag, it's basically just going to be like all the basic information to be stored in the HTML document. Now, you don't necessarily need a head tag in your HTML file, but, um, you know, a lot of programmers like myself really like to do it. Really helps organize with the space and stuff. Um, in the head tag, you're just going to put some basic stuff like title, and title's just going to be like the name that appears up on the browser window of the file. So, for I'm just gonna add some dummy text, and uh, yeah, we'll just say, yeah, that's good for now. And what's also common for people to do is to put the style tags in the head, which for Anyone who is, which for those of you who don't know, is for something, which for those of you who don't know, style is basically like the start, the style tag holds all the information that's going to be put into the design of the web page, like, you know, the different little divisions and boxes and stuff, um, you know, like all the search bars, the design, the fonts of words, all the basic design stuff is in the style tags. So, 
with that underway, that's pretty much it for the head part of it. Man, I should I should really clean this up more. You know, give it a little bit of style. Okay, yeah, yeah, that. Okay, yeah, going for the classic uh, Dax style just looks a lot better right here. So yeah, you get the general idea. Um, going for sandwich kind of things. Going for like tag sandwiches, putting information between them. You get the idea. Anyways, with the head complete, we now got to move on to the body tag. And what the body tag is going to do is it basically holds everything that's in a basic HTML website or whatever project you're doing with an HTML file. And the body's going to have a bunch of cool stuff in it, like, say for example, text and divisions of website stuff. And I think you'll get into it later, but and we'll get into all that stuff in a whole nother video, but what you need to know right now is this, all of this right here is the basic structure of an HTML page. And, well, it's not that in, and it's actually pretty easy to learn. Um, so that's all the main tags that you need to know about when first starting out with HTML, but we're going to go over a few more right now. And those few that we're going to go over are include this text. Now, I bet you're asking, how do you create text on an HTML page? How does that work? Well, I'll show you. So, we're just going, so for our sake, we're just putting in h1. And we might as well just put in some dummy text to show you what it's like. And now you might be asking yourself, why does it say H1 instead of something, you know, like text or something like that? Well, the reason is H1 is supposed to be like the size of the font. And, well, that's kind of it. H1 is the biggest font. H2 is slightly smaller. H3 is slightly smaller than H2. Pretty sure you get the idea. So, that's pretty much text in a nutshell, but, yeah, that's pretty much text, and another thing that we're going to go ahead and go over is styling, IDs, and, no, not styling, uh, and another thing that we're going to go over in this video is IDs and classes. Now, for our sake, we're just going to say, let's say we just have a basic h1 tag right here and we're just gonna say something like hello world yeah that's good and if you pop it up and if you open up the HTML page it's just gonna look like black text on a white background and it's just going to be really small, really hard to read, and it's just going to be in some really inconvenient location. But what you can do with that is, if you look inside the first little tag, part of the tag right here, you can type in ID equal sign and then to, ah, excuse me. Yeah, and then two quotation marks, and inside that, you can give the ID to Hello World anything you want. Like, I'm just going to put text for convenience, but you can name it anything you want. And the idea of IDs is, if we go back to the style tag here, remember how I said before that the style tag contains all the information for styling elements and making them look good? It, you know, putting them in position in their color and stuff. Well, that's what IDs are for. And to say we wanted to change the text color of Hello World or 
move its position. Well, what we do is we just put hashtag and then and then the elements ID, which is happens to be text. So yeah, hashtag text. And then we have these curly brackets, which we can go in and put in right here. And then between these curly brackets, you can put all the styling info between, like, say we wanted the text color to be blue. So, yeah, you can type in that. You can also put in the positioning of the stuff, of the text. So you can also do that. So, yeah, you get the idea with IDs. And you might be wondering, what if there's one thing that I want to change about a lot of different stuff, but I don't want to go through all of this ID crap? <laughs> well, you might be asking yourself, <laughs> well, you might be asking yourself, what if there's so many parts of something that I want to ch What if there's... <laughs> Well, you might be asking yourself, what if there are so many elements that I want to change, but I don't want to go through each one of them one at a time, and I all wanted to change them all the same way? Well, that's where classes come in. So, say we wanted this text right here, and we added another part of text. Alright, so say that we took this text here, and we made some other some more text and for this and all right so say that we took some more text and we wanted it to be different from hello world in a few ways but we wanted them to have the same color of blue well that's where classes come in so instead of just this so instead of just a singular ID we can use this thing called a class where a bunch of elements are changed at the same time if they have that class so all you need to do is just type in class and with the equal sign and two quotation marks and just type in whatever the class name you want to be I'll just put in Eight because why not? Actually, wait. I'll just put in sixty-nine because why not? And I'll just put in sixty-nine for this class. And so, what we do right here is you put a period for a class, and <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait, we can't do that. For class, we'll just put text right there. And we'll just go with that. And so, as you can see here, it's basically the same thing as. Yeah, it's basically just the exact same thing as IDs. But now if we open up the browser, you'll clearly see that both elements are blue. Yep, and it works pretty well. Alright, now text is pretty important, but there's also things called divisions, where, you know, there's different parts of a website, one's one color, one's the other, and it just kind of cr looks like a really cool masterpiece of text boxes and search bars and, and articles and all that jazz. Well, that's where divs come in, and, well, I won't go into too much detail in this video, um, this is the basic div tag right here. Same rules apply with IDs and classes. 
Um, anyways, that's pretty much the bare bones of it all, but for what it's worth, I hope that you guys learned something really great. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the video, but I hope you all learned something really neat. Well, that's pretty much for the video, but I hope you all learned something interesting today. Anyways, I just want to say, have a nice day, be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. This is Gagor7, signing off.